I'm philosophical. This is my channel. I got a whole audience here, but let's do it. All right. Somebody really thought they were smarter than you. Okay. And sometimes you'll let something get to a certain point and then you dangle that shit in front of somebody and then you pull that shit back and it drives somebody crazy. Okay. Somebody's desperate to get your attention. Desperate. Okay. They're willing to pay for it. <laughs> Uh, my obsession with death, somebody just said. Somebody has an obsession with death. Uh, that's good, because the, they're going to be experiencing their own soon. So, let's see what the message is. But yeah, somebody has an absolute obsession with death here. <clears throat> let's see what we need to know. <laughs> somebody just does stupid shit is what I'm picking up on. I love you guys. Desperado. People are desperate. They know something's about to come in for you. Right? They can't get to you. Right? You got your fortress and shit. They're being watched. Every step you take. Right? They know they're being watched. Some of them don't care, but they'll care when they're going out in fucking handcuffs too because the shit's called harassment, motherfuckers female, <clears throat> right? Listen, for a lot of you guys, okay, I'm going to even test it with the pendulum, right? These people that have around and around you have been being watched for about two years now. Watch, watch this. And the people they're recruiting are going to wind up getting locked up too. Watch this. Absolute truthful answers only, okay? Can you show me yes? Thank you. Can you show me no? They're not even going to see it coming. Today, May 11th, 2022. Are these people that are coming against divine beings in some of these situations been being watched? Can you clear this, please? Have they been being watched for uh, about two years now? I'm telling you, these fucking dingbats don't know what they're getting themselves into. They think it's cool now. Wait till you guys are sitting in a cell block. Two, two, two. They're grabbing young people that don't have anything, right? They're giving them, like, drugs or gift cards or whatever the fuck. I don't know. It's selling their soul is what I call it. I mean, you can do some shit like that for some little shit like that. You got problems. You got to have a bigger problem, though. Okay? Let's find out. What's up with this female? I'm telling you, a lot of these young bucks, though, they have no fucking idea what they're in for. It's just like the music industry when they pick out these, these uh, troubled kids from bad neighborhoods. Then after they sign all this shit, they sign their fucking life away, okay? That's like what this shit is too. And you, for a lot of you, you're going to be the one that presses charges on a lot of these people, okay? Let's see, what's up with this female? <clears throat> this female, there's a female connected to this chronic masculine. So maybe this is the mother, right? The mother's... So there's a, a masculine that's just as toxic. So I feel like they're both like sociopathic, psychopathic, right? Let's see what else. This could be the person that's obsessed with death. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more about this daughter. All right. Uh, this toxic mother could have like a toxic daughter too. So what this is giving me is that these toxic females who don't know how to teach their daughters to be women, but they teach them to also go against other women because they're just as insecure as their mothers. They're teaching their daughters to be jealous and envious and not to do something on their own, but to, to be mad at other women because they have something or look a certain way that they don't. That generational curse shit. Look, well, yes. Okay. I knew there was one turned over. It's ironic that it was yes. These toxic mothers, even these toxic fathers that are teaching their sons to do the same toxic shit. Like, don't you guys want to be something different? <laughs> you know? Aren't you tired of this fucking, like, ghetto shit in your family bloodline? Aren't you sick of it? Like, don't you want to do something different than your toxic cousins, your fucking siblings, your aunts, your uncles? I guess not. So whoever this, this female is, okay? This female's mother... Okay, look at this shit, right? This female's mother, whoever's connected to this, to this toxic dude, right? Their mother is just as toxic. Now, the female and daughter. This is toxic female bloodline. Women who are just, they look at other women and before they even get to know them 
and see whether they're a good person, they're instantly jealous of them, okay? You guys got fucking head problems, okay? Let's see, what else? I feel like there's, a, there's dudes that are just in the same energy though, but I just call you female all around because there is no actual real man that would be uh, jealous of a woman that I know. I'm not a real man anyway. So let's see where they're, especially ones that come after a woman that you know you can't beat anyway. I mean, there's a lot of people getting shut down by, by strong women right now. And it's a lot of men. And for the women who are going against another woman, you toxic fucking bitches, that you would go against another woman. You probably, some of you have daughters. You have mothers, grandmothers, but you want to go with a toxic dude against another woman. You're supposed to be like a woman yourself. You think that shit ain't going to come back to you? Energy's a motherfucker. Let's see. Let's keep going. I would be humiliated with myself. Okay. Negative thinking, just negative, right? They constantly get their heart broken here. These females. So this daughter, this mother, right? Is a toxic cycle of dealing with karmic masculines. And what is the end result here? Well, he cheated on me. He gave me an STD. Have respect for yourselves, women. Be the different one in your family, your friend group. Be, be, the, be the one that when people talk about you, they're like, yeah, no, not that one. That one actually has respect for themselves. Not that says, oh, yeah, she's just like everybody else. You know what I mean? Sucks dick. Fucks whoever. Suck for crack. Fucking be something different. Toxic. Taurus. This could be a mother. That Taurus is a mother. Or this could be a, the mother of a Taurus here. All right? Or this is somebody that they're married to. Tell me about this. There may be uh, somebody's in a constant battle. I just heard. This could be you feeling like you're in a constant battle. That, that people are losing around you. Or this is somebody else that's having like a constant battle with themselves. I feel like. So, there could be a Taurus that wants to uh, reconcile with you here. Why? They want to work with you? It, you know what? This also may be, like, it may break your heart to find out that there's a Taurus from your past that worked together and collaborated with other people. And now they feel like a fucking fool here. That's what this is. Whoever this Taurus is, okay? This ain't gonna be for everybody. Somebody, somebody uh, talked shit on somebody here. And I feel like they feel like a fucking fool. Tell me more. Yeah, now they're just stuck feeling like an absolute fool. Somebody like took a shot with something and it failed and now they're stuck. There's also whoever this Taurus is, right? There's a Taurus also that just took some kind of like shot, like just off on a whim. Like, let me just try this, right? And now they look at things differently, right? And they have stability here. Somebody here doesn't like the fact that there's a Taurus specifically that has stability. They freed themselves from probably like toxic friends, anybody talking shit. Like, this is somebody who was like, you know what? I don't really care what you say about me. Like, I just got to do something different, right? I don't want to hang around friends and shit who are just sitting around fucking thinking of who to rob next. And, and this, I don't want to do that. If you want to do that, that's cool. I'm not judging you, but it ain't for me, right? I'm too good for this shit. I just know that there's something about myself. You know, I wish that every woman would be like this. I, I wish that every female would be like, yo, what am I doing, right? I'm, I'm worth more than this, right? But unfortunately, there's just a lot of chicks that just, you know, they give their life over to some, some tiny ass dick, okay? It ain't even worth it usually. You got to have some kind of dick for me to give my fucking life over to you. Okay. Let's see what else they want you to know. This is why I'm an advocate for women. Like, I fought with so many women. My mother, my sister, this, that, or the other. And it's like, the irony is, is that now I want to help women understand, like, you're worth more than this shit. Get away from these toxic-ass fucking limp dick dudes who only want you for, for one or two things, right? And see your own worth. So somebody's a killer. <laughs> what else is new? Find out who this fucking killer dingbat is. Tell me more. Somebody that's jealous of either you, Divine Feminine, or your daughter. Somebody's jealous of you. Jealousy. 
just to waste my time with you. You're not wasting your time. You realize your time is valuable, especially if you're a divine feminine, divine masculine. Your time is valuable. Your energy is valuable. People crave your shit. They only notice it when you're not around. They don't appreciate it when you're there. Dirty little secret. That's a client. So this person has a dirty little secret. They got many. There were witnesses to some shit. Is a killer. There were witnesses. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, maybe that's the dirty little secret. 10, 10. Is that somebody's a fucking killer here? As I told you, like, you get yourself connected to any murderers and you don't know this person or these people's past, you're getting the karma with them. You're going to be accessory. For those of you who are fucking ganging up with people and going against somebody and you're doing this shit for people who have blood on their hands, you're being investigated too. Now you're connected to these people and you're going to be an accessory, okay? Let's see. Dirty little secret. So you, you expose somebody's dirty little secret. Currently has a life insurance policy on you here. So there were witnesses to something. I don't know if this is like a notary or something or somebody's like, because I've been picking up to and I heard somebody else do a reading, a few readings about notary. A no, there's something that was notarized that was false. If you're dealing with people who are, are murderers, then you have the same blood on your hands just by being connected to them. Most people don't understand this because they don't know energy. They don't know shit about energy. They weren't taught this. Most of us weren't taught this, right? 11-11. That's how they wanted it. Okay. As a woman beater. Okay? Couldn't beat you, though, Divine Feminine. <laughs> Come get it, right? Female cousin. Ooh. Is there a female cousin we're supposed to be a fucking afraid of, too? <laughs> I told you, you can think somebody in the hospital, you know? We're going to leave it at that. Let's see. Let's go up with this female cousin. Maybe this female cousin was a witness. Who knows? Let me ask. This female cousin could have been a witness to something. Somebody that could be like a woman beater could have like put their hands on their female cousin and seen the side to somebody that maybe they were taking their side. Honest answers only. Dirty little secret. Is this female cousin seeing a side to somebody here? Ooh. Is this female cousin, is this female cousin the witness here? So there's a female cousin to some toxic fucking, uh, I guess it's a dude here if it's a woman beater. <clears throat> they witnessed a side to this person. So I feel like if these, if this person was telling people that you were crazy, like I never put my hands on women or I never did this, not only is this person or these people finding out this person's a woman beater, but they actually have murdered one, at least one person before, whoever this person is. And they have a life insurance policy. There's a female cousin that is, oof. tell me there's somebody on their side of the family that's going to be on your side, divine feminine, divine masculine, hired an investigator here, or your female cousin did. There's a female cousin here who was like, I need to know what's going on. Somebody hired an investigator and found out, one, there's a, car, a life insurance policy out on you. Uh, the person that they were protecting is a fucking killer. Shoplifting. I just heard shoplifting. So I feel like that's what these people are being, um, <clears throat> that, that's what they've, they've been reduced to. A lot of these people. Shoplifting. Good for you. 13-13. Okay. Fucking losers. Let's see. Let me more about this. Tell me more about this. What did they find out? So you're karma free, motherfuckers. This comes out a lot. A lot of you guys, you went through a karmic cycle. That's what a lot of these people who were ganging up with these people don't know either. You get karma, 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 karma. Everything's going to go wrong for you. How do I know? Because I just went through this shit. I just dealt with my karma from this lifetime and other lifetimes. And God knows what the fuck I did in other lifetimes, right? I know I never killed nobody in this lifetime, but I can't say I never did that in other lifetimes, right? You keep fucking fighting this karma and you keep racking up more, then you're going to come back next lifetime and your entire life is going to be in poverty. Learn this shit, you know, maybe start, start learning about cause and effect and karma and how important this shit is, you know? Uh, me learning about how everything that you do has an immediate reaction changed the way that I treat people. All right. 14, 14. It changed the entire way that I live my life. Cause I realized I was getting instant fucking karma with some shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, if I stole some shit out of my mom's purse, I would immediately get stolen from, or I would lose something. I would lose the thing I just stole. You know, it's like most people don't know that when these things happen, it's a cause and effect thing, right? You learn about cause and effect and everything and way you treat people and everything you do has a reaction. Okay. Learn the shit. You would live your life different. I promise you, 
Uh, because there's some people who just keep racking up, racking up bad karma. And I mean, you may actually just fucking die still in karma and still have to come back. And who wants to be born into karma, right? But you didn't have to cut me off. Did somebody get cut out of a will? Or you cut somebody off? Look, investigator, there he is. Shine the light on me. At the midnight special. All right, somebody shine the light on some shit, this investigator. Addicted. Someone's addicted to you. You cut somebody off. And uh, they did this shit. We were nothing. Uh, yeah, you changed your number and everything. You said that we would still be friends. Somebody can't stand the fact that you cut them off and you're not even friends with them. Well, a motherfucker, if you're coming up as a killer and a woman beater, bitch. <laughs> what do you think? I'm, what do you think of me? Fuck out of here. We're not even being friends with no murderers. I don't want to be friends with no fucking dude to put their hands on chicks. As a woman, I'll, I'll be embarrassed with myself. Okay? Because then I would assume that if somebody put their fucking hands on my daughter, I'm okay with that too. Okay? So for any mothers that are hanging around women beaters or any dudes that just don't respect women, God forbid, I would be fucking humiliated and mortified if there's a female hanging around a dude that's gang stalking another woman. You're sitting there, hee hee, right? You weak as fuck. Okay? Maybe you deserve to get your ass beat. Maddie! You closed out a cycle, 1616. A very important karmic cycle. Somebody here did the work. They healed, right? All that went within. I mean, I honestly can't really stand that phrase, but somebody here just like trusted themselves. They didn't trust people on the outside because you know, most people that fucking stab you right in the back as they're hugging you, right? How many times you going to let that keep happening? Somebody was tired of doing it. Close out a cycle. You're my fucking karma free. <sighs> now this person is just somebody you used to know and they don't like that. Uh, this is the kind of person that likes to have all eyes on me. And now it's all eyes on you. Especially if you started a channel and, and you're healing people. And especially you making fucking money off it, right? A lot of us are just getting donations. And like, we just fucking get money for free and shit. But it's really not for free. Uh, you're even healing the people who are fucking spying on you and shit. Ain't that something? <laughs> Narcissistic abuse. Narcissistic parents. Why your life turned out the way it did. Why you treat people the way you do. find out some more so there's an investigator that was hired you got a life insurance policy you know maybe you'll be able to cash that fucking shit in right <laughs> somebody i feel like had to sell it too because it was poor that that put red flags up let's see like like you did so i told you somebody's put in a very difficult position they couldn't make payments on the policy anymore because they knew they were being investigated right so what do you do now you got this policy sitting there this person is still alive because we ain't fucking going nowhere Okay, and now what? You're going to go sell it and that just put up more red flags. So somebody put themselves in a very compromising position uh, trying to kill somebody for life insurance, money motherfuckers. Tell me more. Tell me more. Somebody could drive a Mustang. Mustang I just heard, so I don't know if that's relevant to somebody. Yeah, you're very mysterious. People don't know how you're doing it. Whatever this is that you're doing, okay? You're supposed to go crazy by now. You're supposed to get a suicide by now. Uh, we, I've ingested poison. I just got a little tummy ache. I'm fucking immortal. There's something different about me. And somebody witnessed it too, and they're freaked the fuck out, you know? I could tell I ate poison. This shit just gave me a little bit of a tummy ache, right? I didn't feel good. I didn't know it was poison at the time, but I remember having a stomach ache, right? So, a slice of pizza he just said. It's so funny because I was just about to tell this story for those of you who don't know. They put poison. They put shit on my food, right? Me and my dude, we started getting stomach aches, right? Didn't like it. It was pizza. I gave it to their fucking pit bull. The pit bull was hacking, choking, throwing up in the bathroom. That's instant fucking karma, bitches. Right? Your dog almost died, bitch. But you sacrificed that dog anyway because you're a fucking demonic piece of shit. Stole your mail. Yeah. You thought stealing my stimulus check. You fucking low down. You're just rats. You're crabs in a barrel. No worth at all. Take that fucking check. I made that check 15 times over so far, punk. That's how the universe rides like that for me. I made that check 15 fucking times over, real rat. First name N through Z. Either you're the one whose mail they stole, or this is the one who stole your mail. Every time you steal from somebody like me, I get shit back double and you lose double. Just know that. And for all the dingbats that are spying and shit, just know. Keep it up. Tell me more about this shit. 
son. Somebody's son. Hmm. What's up with this son? Is this the son of that toxic mother that we're talking about here? Trying to make you homeless? Somebody's son is trying to make... Well, keep it up. I, mean, I don't give a fuck. He ain't making nobody homeless. I don't leave somewhere until I say I'm fucking leaving. Uh, this, is about, this is about standing your ground, motherfuckers. Okay? You could have a million and five people coming up against me. And if I ain't ready to do some shit, guess the fuck what? I ain't doing it. Okay? That's what a strong woman does. I don't know about these weak bitches that just follow everybody. But this one right here, I'm not a follower. I'm a fucking leader. All right? Learn it. I wish more women were like this, to tell you the truth. This is why I don't have female friends, because they're all, they're all fucking dick dizzy. Uh, or drug dizzy, you know? Or they're lost, and, and they don't know how to just stand on their own and separate themselves from toxic people, you know? Because it's like they need that supply. I don't need it. I'm stronger on my own than I've ever been with anybody else in my life. And people don't like that. They're jealous of that. Oh, well, that's a problem you got. That is not my problem. Right? It's not my fucking problem. What else? Yep. Beggar. I told you these people are going to be begging, right? You want somebody homeless? Guess what? Congratulations, bitches. You yourself will be homeless. There ain't nobody begging for nothing here. There ain't no beggars here. Okay? Who is this fucking beggar? You, you, you worked on your codependency. Even if you had to take a loss, you're like, I don't want to help for my family and friends anymore. So you're doing shit on your own. Even if you got to do it slowly, right? These people don't know how to do that. They don't know how to do it. Look, moon card. Okay. Pisces again. Let's find out before I start dissing the Pisces, right? If this is the light or dark attribute, because I feel like I'm always dissing the Pisces, but the cards don't lie. I don't know what the tie is. Okay. Truthful answers only. Is this the light attribute of this beggar? No. Clear that. Just for everybody, I wanted to, is this a Pisces? Okay. So there's a fucking Pisces who's still so codependent that it makes them sick. This person may be uh, forced to beg right now with the beggar card and the Pisces, right? Or they're about to be put in a situation where they're going to be begging on the street, get a good cardboard fucking box, bro. Right? I feel like they're begging to be in your energy too. Okay. Somebody's dying to get a reading from you too. So much to the point where they'll get somebody else to give you the information that has a high vibe, that has a good energy. And then when the reading happens, you'll get nauseous like I did. I might started salivating. And the cards that came out was the moon card. The devil card is a killer. And I was like, oh, this, that motherfucker, 2222. So I had to refund your money, bro. I don't want no connection to your fucking money. You thought you were slick. And I remember when he said, you're too smart for me. And I said, I don't think so. I fucking meant that shit, bro. You're going to have to come harder than that. Okay. Yeah, somebody here is so fucking greedy. I feel like somebody here is begging people for drugs or something. They have something, they have a drug habit or an alcohol addiction. Oh, the nine of cups. Somebody's greed put them in a situation to be uh, having to uh, beg people for money or handouts. Okay, a Pisces. What's this? Yeah, yeah. They're friends. <laughs> I feel like, damn. So they're working together with other people to what? what for work so there's a Pisces here whose addictions put them in a situation where now like they may have to do some uh, strange for some change kind of shit okay you on the other hand right you actually work with the three of Pentacles right okay eight of Pentacles you work. You're happy with what you do. So you work, somebody else doesn't, okay? You decided to do something on your own and change some shit, right? Maybe break some generational curses of being codependent. Somebody else did. Okay, so now what? You and your person work together is what I'm picking up. This is for those of you who have a solid relationship like myself, right? You guys work together. And you're both working on not being codependent because you could be at least dealing with a Leo. There's a Pisces here who's still fucking begging people, still has to borrow money from their mommy. They still they still have to have other people taking care of them and somebody else doesn't. Yeah, there's my yes card, okay? Because you're being guided and you're protected. So you started relying on your ancestors and your guides to bring you. It's amazing to me what they bring me. Okay? I ain't gonna brag about it. I have motherfuckers who think they can take it. I say, come get it. Don't fucking underestimate what I carry on me, motherfuckers, okay? 
Somebody thought I was some kind of weak bitch because I smile. You got me all wrong, bitches. And I'll show you too, so come get it. Now, you and your person, yeah, you guys just like, you you're, you guide each other. I feel like you guys just fucking help each other out. This person doesn't know what that's about because this other person is fucking Pisces. All they did was they got with people only to get money out of them. There's a lot of people like this, women and men. I'm not just going to say it's all dudes. There's women who do this shit too. And it's like, you guys are toxic as fuck, you know, do something on your own. Don't you want to be able to say that something is yours and that somebody else didn't help you get it? You know, someone else's name isn't attached to it. So now all of a sudden it's like, well, I did this and now are you going to help me out now? I don't have that because ain't nobody helping me. And that's kind of the way that the universe wanted it because uh, people like to throw shit in your face. When you're not doing well, people don't want nothing to do with you. But now all of a sudden you start making money. God forbid you win the lottery. Now everybody's coming out of the fucking woodworks, right? So when that happens, I'll remember every one of you motherfuckers. Every one of you is. I'm like passing you on the street. You're going to be sitting in a cardboard box. I'm like, aren't you the motherfucker that was spying on me? Are you the motherfucker that thought it was called a gang stalk? Right? See y'all sitting there fucking twitching and shit from a draw. I could have dropped a couple hundred on you, but I'm going to remember your face. Right? Somebody from your past was diagnosed with cancer. I don't ever wish that on anybody because I'm not a mean person. But I'm guessing that if somebody was diagnosed with cancer and they were coming against you, that could be karma. This could be a mother. Someone you walked away from, a mother or an aunt or a sister, is diagnosed with cancer. They could be a Taurus. Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I don't wish that on anybody, right? It's like I uh, I treat my adversaries with disrespect because they deserve it, but I don't I don't treat fucking other people with disrespect. I don't just disrespect people just because. I treat people the way you treat me, right? So if you don't like what I'm saying, it's probably because I'm mirroring your fucking behavior. Tell me about this diagnosed with cancer. Tell me about this. King of Wands. This could be the mother. Why do all of the monsters come out? Yeah, it's just monsters. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you ain't doing something, like, positive for the world, like, you're just doing some low-down, dirty shit, you're a fucking monster, right? And I'm a monster slayer, so let's get it on, right? Let's do it. This could be the mother of this karmic. Hold on. Wow. Truthful answers only. Is this Queen of Pentacles a mother? Okay. Is she a mother of an Aries Leo Sagittarius? She's a mother of this karmic masculine here. So for those of you, I mean, uh, it's not going to be for all of you. But there's a mother of somebody that was coming against you. So if this mother was also evil to you, and this is why her son is the way that he is, this mother all her, I'm telling you, Cancer, it manifests from having a fucking dark heart and a dark soul, right? Heart problems, heart attacks. If you're evil, that shit will fucking create a sickness. I had to learn about this shit too. Let's see. Tell me more. I feel like this person plays both sides though. This masculine, I feel like they act like they love their mother. God forbid this mother gets fucking like oxys or something for this fucking cancer and shit. I guarantee this dude's all up in her purse. It's just the kind of dude, the one I was dealing with either. I mean, the same thing, the dude, a friend of mine, supposed to friend, he would be stealing that fucking shit right off from underneath her. There's definitely a cycle closed here. This was somebody, look, hate, revenge, right? This is what, I feel like this is what caused this cancer, 2828. When people are getting diagnosed with sicknesses right now, it's because of this fucking hate and envy that's in their heart, right? Learn about that too, that that shit manifests physically, Okay. Telling you, you learn about this shit, it'll change the way that you are as a person. And if it don't, then I guess you're just going to die early and you're going to die painful. On a, you know, a slow, painful death. Alone. Look, alone. Right? <sighs> Somebody dying alone here. I'm guessing this mother was a monster towards you too if this song is on. She's the mother of a fucking monster, but the shit came from somewhere. I love how mothers go, what happened to my son? Bitch, you gave birth to him. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't cut yourself out of that shit, right? I love how parents do that. What happened to you? Uh, you? They don't want to take any responsibility, right? There's got to be accountability on both sides. So, all right, so somebody's got cancer, you know? Uh, it was a hateful mother. I'm, I still don't feel like somebody deserves that shit, but I'm not the one who created the whole energy thing. And, and um, yeah, it's a family member of theirs, right? 
somebody that this person doesn't stick to anything, that they're not serious about anything, uh, they're, they're possibly this person could not have taken this up. They don't take relationships seriously. This could be a Gemini. This is somebody could that could actually have said that they, oh, okay. So this could be a Gemini, this mother possibly, okay. For some of you, this is a sibling that was diagnosed with this shit. It's going to be different for all of you, but there's a Queen of Pentacles energy that was diagnosed with cancer from some of your past, right? Some of you, it's family member. Some of you, it's a family member of your karmic masculine. But the result, this is the result of hate and envy and, and vengeful energy, okay? This specific one is a Gemini, all right? And I feel like this Gemini thought they knew you. Pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. I feel like they said some shit about you, 30-30, and they didn't even know you that well. Uh, this could be karma for this bitch, okay? Yeah, look at this shit. This person was guided to, to stop doing this, I feel like. This person was guided to move away from this toxic son of hers because now she's experiencing judgment for probably lying on you. This mother, this mother of this toxic dude you were dealing with. This is her judgment. She got diagnosed with cancer. I'm telling you, be careful the way you fucking treat people, man. Because you can't fix it once it comes. You know, a lot of these people, uh, these people who are just living on the street, gang stalking, how you gonna fucking pay for your chemo and shit when you get diagnosed with cancer because your karma comes back around, huh? You could barely put a roof over your head, huh? It's gonna be tough having fucking cancer and, and no uh, treatment, being uh, under a bridge. All right, so just be careful how you're treating people. I told you this mother's going to die alone. I feel like this mother was also being watched by this investigator, and she stole some shit. She either stole some shit or she's just fucking sneaky and dirty, okay? Facing a problem. I'll bet. Fear, I fear truth. Yeah, yeah, there's some truth that came out about this dirty ass mother here. Let's find out what some of this truth is. They have an illness. Look, illness, right? Ew, ew, ew. Somebody got sick because they were evil. This is the probably the person that I told, and they were like, oh, okay, because that's what happened. Shady cop. Is this what this fucking mother that possibly uh, filed a false police report, and they thought because they knew a shady cop that shit was going to stick? I got, I'm putting cops away. Fucking dirty-ass judges. What you think you punk ass gang stalkers are gonna do to me, huh? I got people literally that want to kill me. What do you think you're gonna do? Hmm? I'll wait. Court case. Told you, shady cop and court case. So this mother had something to do with lying on you in court. Pretension and much deeper knowledge. Ooh. There's a mother, 32, 32. She's gonna be dying of cancer because she fucking lied on you in court. And she knew a shady cop, and they probably, I won't be surprised if they both fucking died of cancer. Okay, look, lied to the police. Yo, you're a dirty fucking bitch. Look, and then I say, like, I don't wish that on anybody. I'm glad that you got it, ma'am. Because you tried to get somebody locked the fuck up and, and caught up in a court case to, to protect your toxic fucking sociopathic, dirty, STD fucking having killer of a son to put a good person away. You bitch. You got what you deserve. Okay? All right. Damn. Tell me more. This person stole your identity, right? Sure. If you just fucking low down. I see where your son gets gets his dirty ass ways between you and your toxic ass husband. Told you, you guys need to be taken off the planet. A male tower reader. What's up with this male tower reader here? A Leo. Oh, 33 third. This is Daisy. That's why it's coming up, male. I'm going to prove it to you guys. I feel like they got themselves caught up and did some kind of like spells for court or to make something go in their favor and they use fucking Daisy. You can't make this shit up. Truthful answers only. Oh, this is juicy. I know you ain't going to like this one, flower dude. Oh, shit. Is this male tarot reader? Daisy. Uh-oh. Clear that, please. Did this mother who's sick work together with this, uh, with Daisy to do spell work? Ooh. Oops. Fuck off. You get what you deserve. Yeah, somebody, so, yo, I'm not telling you guys, you keep fucking, you keep watching that motherfucker and see what, how your life turns out. She's a, he's a fucking fraud. First off, he's a man, Right? Dying to be a woman, but could never, could never be a divine anything, right? 34, 34, never less a fucking feminine, never less a feminine. 
Oh, uh, you're all sick. So for, I told you, for some of you, your fucking ops were working. Daisy was was telling her, or he, he was telling you how much he loved you. I'm sending you so much love and light. Thank you for your donations. Oh my God, did you mean to send that much? The whole time you're fucking paying for your own spell work. Wake up, assholes. We love you, Daisy. Oh, you guys, that just makes me nauseous. You guys make me nauseous. All right, so we know that Daisy, this mother got sick because she worked with another fucking, with, with Daisy. Suicidal? Hmm? Psycho killer? Would this be you? Would this be you, Daisy? Hmm? So tired of your asses. I'm so glad to have something to do with taking yous all down. Uncontrollable? Psycho killer? Hmm? Bum, 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 well, run, 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 run away. Everything going backwards now? If somebody wants to take their life? I was going to say, I don't wish that on nobody, and I don't, but I sure do and wish that people get what the fuck they put out. How's that? Okay. Let's get a demon card, and I might actually close this out for a minute. I got to talk to somebody, but I got to do it through email because I get people that like to listen to everything I'm saying and I'm too smart for you motherfuckers. Belfagor. Let's see. Let me get my book. Hold on. What fell on the floor? Look, broke. I didn't even realize that fell on the floor. Okay, Belfagor. Beware of inspiration that seems too good to be true and ideas that seem like easy money but little work required. You fucking people who want to get rich quick, huh? Stealing people's identities to hack their shit. We're not going nowhere. But you are. Fuck off. Tia, love you.